um, they're safer to handle. They have a higher rate of germination. Uh, the plants that they come from were not stressed from the spraying. The, uh, they know that uh, if, if when they use that seed that they're going to get a much better crop. Okay. Do you, do you also have a garden on your farm? What do you grow? Yes, we do, and we grow a multitude of, of things. We grow peas, beans, corn, radishes, onions, uh, garlic, uh, potatoes, uh, cabbage, peppers, cucumbers, rutabagas, tomatoes, squash, and pumpkins. Uh, we have a variety of uh, gourds uh, just for uh, decoration sake, you might say. And all of these plants, except for your onion, and except for your corn, which is, is uh, pollinated by the wind, uh, your cabbage plants, but anything that blossoms needs the bee or the wasp to carry that pollen. It's very important that you don't use chemicals on your homegrown food. First off, you're going to be the one that's eating them. And secondly, you're killing all the insects that pollinate this to give you produce. So it, uh, I'm a firm believer in uh, not using spray. There are other methods. Uh, cabbage plant. <clears throat> the cabbage moth is a real, real threat to your cabbage. The nature, na nature's way of doing this is to cut up onion tops and lay them on the large leaves around the cabbage plant or on the cabbage plant. This uh, inhibits the, uh, the moth's uh, interest in that plant because of the strong smell. The other thing is to plant um, oh man, marigold flowers in between each cabbage plant and marigolds stink and the butterfly don't like the marigold. So it's, it's, a na it's nature's way of, of controlling insects that are harmful in your garden and not having to use sprays. Uh, potato bugs go out in the garden early, pick off the adult bug before they have a chance to lay eggs uh, and keep a very close watch, a daily watch on your potatoes. Uh, I don't recall, other than a fungus or something, I don't recall of any other uh, uh, damaging plants to uh, a garden. How long have you been a farmer? Did you study farming in college? <clears throat> Is this why you know so much about bugs? Well, I was raised on a farm in, uh, in the late 40s and during the 50s. Growing up there, I learned a lot from my dad, who was basically an organic farmer. He did not believe in sprays. He did, in his later years, use a little fertilizer because he didn't have any cattle to spread the, spread the natural fertilizer. Uh, except for the eight years while I was in college, and uh, in the Army, and uh, <clears throat> the three years I worked as an accountant in the Twin Cities, I have been farming. Um, my major in college was business management and accounting, but I've always loved science, and so my minor field was biology, uh, where I, I learned about the uh, <clears throat> Uh, the uh, genetics of plants uh, in plant ecology and two classes of plant ecology. I had parasitology, which is I learned about the parasites uh, in living matter and, and in plants. I had genetics uh, crossing uh, plants 